Welcome. Let us work on this question on quartal deviation. It reads, uh, find the quartal deviation of the following set of data. Uh, this one is a grouped data. So we need to understand how to get the quartal deviation of both the grouped and the ungrouped data. So how do we get the quartal deviation of the grouped and grouped data? Now, we first uh, need to identify the formula and to get the... Um, quartal deviation we get it by so quartal deviation is given by uh, q3 minus q1 divided by 2 and in this case uh, q3 is the upper quarter this is uh, the median of the upper quarter Let me write this so median Median of uh, upper half. Then you have Q1 is the median of the lower half. So we need to identify now these are uh, Q3 and Q1. Now another important thing to note is that uh, quartal deviation. is also referred to as a semi interquartile range so also referred to as the semi interquartile range you can see it dividing by 2 so the first thing you're going to do is to divide this set of data these um, values from uh, or in ascending or descending order so you can choose to arrange in ascending or descending order so let's arrange uh, from the smallest to the biggest that is ascending order so arranging we get uh, 2 uh, 3 you get 2 3 let me look at this set of data 2 3 then we have 4 then we have uh, when I look at the value 5 is 1 then uh, 6 is a uh, 2 Then I can see seven. There are also two. Seven is also two. Then from there you have eight, nine, ten, twelve. Eight, nine. So eight, nine, ten, and twelve. Ten and twelve. So as you can see, we have now arranged uh, the set of data. Uh, in ascending order now the next thing is to divide this set of data into two halves <coughs> dividing it into two halves and when you look at um, the values there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so we divide uh, in the left hand side we have six values the right hand side we have six values 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i'll divide it Uh, within these, uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let me divide it this level. So when you look at the um, both sides, we have six values. So the median of this lower half, and then uh, this will be the median of the upper half. So now to get the median of the, this is a Q1 will be now obtained by the median of the lower half which is 4 plus 5 divided by 2 this will give 9 divided by 2 this will give 4.5 then we get the q3 now which is the median of the upper half which is 9 plus 10 no i'm sorry i think this one is not 9 plus 10 something here i've not identified properly so the median here will be given by 8 plus 9. So we get this. So it will be 8 plus 9 divided by 2. And this will give uh, 17 divided by 2 will give um, 
Now having Q1 and Q3, therefore, uh, quartile deviation or semi interquartile range will be given by Q3. Uh, remember the formula here Q3 minus Q1. So we have 8.5 minus 4.5. Then we divide by 2. So this will give um, 4 divided by 2. And we end up with 2. So 2 is now the quartile deviation. So that is simply how we get the quartile deviation of ungrouped data. Thank you.